Hello, welcome to this video where we are going to tackle the CATS docs data set with the TensorFlow framework. And in this particular video, I'm going to deal with all the seven steps that we have actually outlined here. So the first step which I'm going to begin with is the cargo API configuration and data loading. So in order to enable, since we are going to deal with this data set from cargo here, since I would like to use it in my collab, I'll have to load it and to do that I'll have to enable access of the of the Kaggle data by the collab. So in that case I'll have to configure the access. And what we'll need actually is an API is a file from our Kaggle account. So this I'm going to my Kaggle account. Right here you can click create new API token. In order to download a kaggle.json file which we'll need for the kaggle configuration in the first step and then we'll have to load data from kaggle after that so first thing we are going to use this linux series of commands to initiate the, this first helps us to load the kaggle.json file from the local computer to the Google Colab and then this series of commands enabling the configuration of the Kaggle API. So running it, I choose the Kaggle.json command from my local computer. And then now the configuration is complete. After that is done, now we'll go over here and copy this command so that we can load this data over to Google Colab. So yeah, I run it and then we see over here that the data is downloaded as zip. As you can see here, yes, it's downloaded as zip. So we need to actually unzip it. So yeah, and I have to unzip it. What the test and train. So it will uh, be and the files will be unzipped to folders containing the images that we'll be using of the cats and dogs. So after unzipping, we'll have to delete the files since we want we need to actually preserve memory so if you want to actually unzip it to a certain folder maybe train folder or maybe train cats dogs you will just do that one the same actually goes for the test so you will have to do that one but right now i want the unzip folder to be the same as the name of the file so yeah now it's unzipping so as it as it unzips uh, let me write a code that will help us know the number of train and test images of both cats and dogs so for the train images that we have So we see you now the, the unzipping is complete and the zip files have been deleted. And so we go to so we train. We want to get all the images. The same goes for the test. So we want to actually get all the images, and then. Want to get the train and test images numbers? Yeah, so yeah, the train and the length of the test images. 
so yeah we see that the train images that we'll be dealing with of cats and dogs are 25,000 and the test images of cats and dogs is 12,500 so we are through with the first step so now we'll be going ahead to the second step which is the libraries import and setting seed so this first step uh, we'll use the first step the first step is actually the same for both for both tensorflow and pytorch since we are going to deal with this we are going to build a, a model for both tensorflow and pytorch so the first step is actually the same for both tensorflow and pytorch so the from the second step is where now we get a difference of the frameworks tensorflow and pytorch